Hey, I don't know if anyone's there. It's Corey. How's everyone doing? If you're there, jump on, say hi. It is Friday, and I wanted to share with you all five quick tips that will help you shift into an abundance mindset. So what does that mean? So if you are a person that tends to look at your current situation and not exactly like your current situation and you tend to be the person that's like, oh, what's wrong with this? Why isn't it working? Hey, so if you have that sort of tendency to go into negative town, these five tips will help you shift out of that right away and get into an abundance mindset. So again, if you're on, say hello. I think my notifications might be off. Hey Sam, how's it going? Haven't seen you in about 20 years. So awesome to see you there. So in, here you go, ready? Five quick tips, we'll do this quickly so you can get on with your amazing Friday and have an amazing weekend. So the first thing to do is when you notice that you are starting to go into negative town and how you can tell if you're going into negative town is your energy starts to go down. Maybe you're starting to feel frustrated. Maybe you're starting even to just get a little bit irritable. So anytime that happens and you are in that mindset of like, what's wrong? Why isn't this working? What I want you to do is the first thing is to get yourself into a different environment. So that could be going outside on your porch, could be going for a walk, could be going to a different room. It could be going out for a cup of coffee, could be just turning on music and dancing around. So the first thing to do is when you're feeling down or low, a little bit negative, switch up your environment. The second thing is then to start to anchor to a different feeling. So you can bring about maybe a past memory of a, a time that brought you a ton of joy. It could be traveling, maybe times with your kids or family or partner, anything that brings you back to that space of feeling alive and feeling a little bit more hopeful and excited. So that's the second step is to connect with a new feeling. Hey, Christian, how's it going? And then the third step is to list out 25 ways that you feel abundant right now. So no matter what's going on in your life, list 25 ways that you feel abundant. And so 25 is intentional to get you to be creative and think beyond the easy answers. So think in terms of anything that makes you feel good. So going for a walk or taking a bath or going to a comedy show and laughing, something that starts to shift your energy. And then the fourth part is to List 25 ways that abundance, prosperity, money, whatever it is, can come to you. And again, 25 so that you start to be creative. So it could be that someone buys you a cup of coffee, someone you didn't know. Or you find money when you're going for a walk. So try to be creative and think of all the different ways that money can come to you. And then the fifth step, which is one of my favorite steps, is to do something nice for someone else. Because often when we are feeling down and negative is because we're focusing on ourself and we're focusing on something that's not working. And so the easiest way to get out of that is to shift the focus off of you and think about who can I help today? And that could be something as simple as letting someone go in front of you in line or letting someone in in traffic. Anything like that just helps put the focus off of you and put you into a mindset of giving and being of service to someone else. So we'd love to hear your thoughts and see if this works for you, please let me know. And if you like this, let me know you like this. And if you think this is helpful, please share it with someone else. Hope you guys have an amazing Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.